What is your first question for bachelor number one? Okay, bachelor number one, what is your favorite holiday meal? Oh, Teresa, that's a great question. Well, besides brunch, obviously, number one, I would have to say filet mignon wrapped in bacon with a side of asparagus, garlic mashed potatoes, and it has to be, it has to be cheesecake for dessert, Ronnie. It has to. Does it? Yes. That's a pretty good meal. I right love there. that. That sounds delicious. We have a question yes. for bachelor number two. Yes. Oh, Teresa sounds like she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number two, the most important question, New York style pizza or Chicago deep dish pizza? Ooh. Ooh. That's a great question. Ooh. I, I noticed so the audience right. was like, whoa. Ah. <laughs> ah. This shouldn't be hard. <laughs> no, but. an obvious but, answer. All right, right. I'm going to have to go with the Chicago deep dish. <laughs> My choice too. It's really? a good choice. Right. Oh my god, my heart hurts. <laughs> Teresa, <laughs> what do you feel about that? Come on. It's so oh, that's too bad. <laughs> New York pizza what? all the way, man. What's your question for bachelor number three? Bachelor number three, what has been your biggest kitchen disaster? It's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Um, one time when I was in high school. It's gonna sound pretty bad. I was cooking eggs and I had a big hoodie on and just really briefly set my hoodie on fire. Oh my oh God. My. Oh wow. But I put it out real quick, I swear. Fire alarm didn't even go out. All right. So I, I averted it a little bit. That's the standard. Yeah. Follow up nope. question for bachelor number three. Do you know how to use a fire extinguisher? No. <laughs> yeah. Very important kitchen tool. Um, bachelor number two, if you could take me anywhere in the world for food, where would you take me and what would you order? Mm. Anywhere in the world for food, Germany, and definitely would order, ah, uh, I'm a sucker for the Franks. Definitely. Delicious. You can never go wrong with a good Frank. <laughs> Okay, bachelor number one, who is the most important person in your life? It's easy to pick um, an influential celebrity, um, a best friend, Ronnie Wu. But, um, <laughs> I don't know the question was, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, no, but honestly, hands down, it's my mother. Um, Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> okay, um, bachelor number three. Okay. What is the yeah. best meal you've ever had? Yeah. Oh, so I'm from Maryland, so crabs are huge in Maryland. Oh, so yeah. I love crab cakes with some really nice potatoes on the side, garlic potatoes, crab cakes, and give me a nice craft beer and I'm in heaven. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> I'm hearing everybody talk about this stuff. <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. What goes in the bowl first, the milk or the cereal? Ooh, good one. Ooh. Whatever you prefer, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. The lady is always right. For the record, the cereal always goes in first. Who puts milk, then cereal? I don't know. I just, I that was know. a tester. Yeah. Right? Could you imagine? Oh, he's the best. He's perfect, but he puts the milk in first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal breaker. I, I wouldn't be able All to right. do it. Oh, my God. OK, um, bachelor number three, salty or sweet? Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to have to go with salty. Love I am a it. huge fan of chips. That's probably my biggest weakness when it comes to junk food. So I like both, but if I have to choose, I'm going to have to say salty. Amazing. We have that in common. All right. I hear a lot of, si I hear a lot of sizzling Ooh. right now. Oh. Of little, like, chip parties. <laughs> OK, um, bachelor number two, what's your favorite comfort food? Hamburgers. Oh, definitely. Good one. Oh. Where would you say the best burger in Nashville is? I'm a Five Guys person myself. Nice. We want to give you a chance to ask a question to Miss Teresa. Bachelor number one, what do you want to know? Teresa, what do you look for in a partner? I am looking for someone who is um, smart and funny, of course, but um, very kind and authentic. Someone who's confident and sure of themselves 
and um, is willing to try new things and go on adventures with me. Aww. Right. <laughs> you got an aw. One aw. All right, bachelor number two, what's your question? So, Teresa, do you ever envision yourself having kids in the future? And if so, how many? Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. This is an excellent question. I have 12 already. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no children presently, but I do want to be a mother one day, and I hope to have um, at least four children. Nice. Okay. Four. Okay. Right. You guys better learn how to cook. That dinner bill is going to be pretty big in four days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bachelor number three, what's your question? So I know you mentioned you're into going on adventures. What would you say your ideal adventure date would be? Ooh, good question. Oh, that's a great question. Um, I, you know, I love being outdoors and um, seeing new things, so I would love to, like, maybe explore and go hiking somewhere that I haven't been or um, just walk around in a new city and kind of see everything from a childlike wonder with um, the other person because I think that that would be a really fun way to get to know each other and explore a new place together. People watch. Definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Totally.